For the fabrication of other insulating materials, it is first made into asbestos paper. The milled asbestos fiber is dumped into a beater for further reduction and thorough mixing with a large percentage of water. The fibers are formed into sheets on huge, specially designed cylinder machines. The excess water is removed and the sheets are conveyed to the drying rolls by a series of felts. Because it will not burn, asbestos paper is widely used wherever a material of minimum thickness is required as a protection against heat or acid fumes or as a fire retardant. Asbestos paper also forms the raw material from which is made a variety of insulating materials. In making the air cell type of insulation used for hot water and low pressure steam pipes, a cellular structure is first developed by corrugating the paper and cementing it to a flat backing sheet. Alternate layers of plain and corrugated asbestos paper are built up into various thicknesses and formed into standard pipe sections. Oft times, various other materials are combined with asbestos paper to make insulations for special purposes. By embedding small particles of spongy cellular material in the asbestos sheets and building them up in multiple layers, a highly efficient and durable insulation is produced that will withstand temperatures up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. 